Hey, buddy. Hey, how's it going? Hey, remember that 700 mark ticket you gave me? What would you That's the time to. Hello, everybody. Grace still plays, and we're back with the Finnish Sauna Simulator 2017. No time for BS. So I'm here in the sauna, starting the episode off as it is, missing repeatedly with the water because I suck at life. There we go. Now we're starting to get somewhere. And the reason for this is because I want to get us set up. It is like way dark outside right now. It is nighttime. I want to get us set up for tomorrow so that we can get a bunch of things done. There we go. That should that should end it up real nice. Also, I would say, what is it? Within a minute or something like that, we're gonna crack open a beer. In fact, you know what? I'm gonna crack. I'm gonna crack open two beers. Two beers is the appropriate amount of beers, I think. Because if you get three, I think I've gone to sleep before and I've woken up with a hangover. And that's just a pain in the ass. There we go. That's the kind of bottle throwing I want to see. Apparently, I had gotten a, like, epic bottle flip or something <laughs> in the last episode. I totally missed it. I must have gotten, like, freaking 50 comments on it. People were like, oh, my God, the bottle flip in four minutes. Super slow-mo. I don't know, man. It's one of those, oh, hold on, before I, let me go ahead and ADD myself for a second here. There you go, baby, milk and sausage inside of the refrigerator. I cleaned up the front yard a little bit. Let's go ahead and take a whiz. Uh, but yeah, a bunch of people had seen it. I thought that was, I don't know why I just head-butted the freaking porcelain piece there of the toilet. So many people had commented on it, I, I had to look, and when I saw it myself, I almost shit a brick. I was like, oh god, I couldn't have done that a hundred times if I tried. And of course, the one time when I totally miss it, it happens. That yeah, goes to figure. But anyway, here's the plan. We're going to take a whiz. We are going to get some sleep because it is... I don't even know what time it is. It's got to be like midnight 30 or something like that. Uh, oh, it's 1.30 in the morning. We're going to get some sleep. Then we wake up. We're going to grab something to drink, grab something to eat. And we're going to go and put an order in for all of the other performance parts that we're going to need for the car. And we're gonna do some crazy stuff with the giant sewage tanker. So I'm gonna get the I'm gonna hit the hay and I'll see you guys in the morning. Alright, guys, 6 a.m. in the morning, a beautiful day to get a bunch of stuff done. We're gonna need to eat in a little bit. First things first, though, let's go ahead and buy all the things that we're gonna need from our catalog. We picked up the last set of parts. So we're gonna want the spoiler, but before we do all that, and, and someone had mentioned this and they're completely right. Let's get all of the important innard stuff first. Let's go ahead and grab all of this. We're going to want all these parts. Boom, right there. Let's go ahead and order it. And after we get all the performance parts, we'll go ahead and start buying things like the spoiler. Oh, and there's something else I had to show you guys. You ready? You ready to see something crazy? Are you ready for a glimpse of the freaking Finnish netherworld? Hold on. Here we go. Finnish headbutt, and we're going to break the re the boundaries of reality. Boom. Did it 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 look at that bullshit right there. I think that's water. But look at that. You can you can circumvent time and space with the finish headbutt. Also, if you want to, you can get into your fridge this way so you can eat both sausages and milk. Anyhow, let's go ahead and grab come on man. There, let's go ahead, I don't even know why I did this before I opened up the door. Let's grab the letter. And uh letter you actually you know what letter you stay with me because if I lose you, I'm gonna be really sad. We're going to use the tanker today, and we're going to use the tanker for a couple reasons. One, I want to go by uh, Tembe's, or whatever the hell his name is, his store, because we're going to drop this off. Uh, oh, Jesus. Every time I get in this thing, I always seem to... It's like a 1 in 10 chance that I go flying into the freaking stratosphere. First things first, we're going to drop off this letter, but the other thing that I want to do is I want to mess around with the police a little bit to kind of see what the physics and the gameplay is like with the police in this game when you start getting into police chases. Oh, hold on. There's another item that we're going to need. Let me run right over here. Oh, you know what? Let's clean up some of these sausages. There we go. <laughs> Let me go ahead and open this door. There's another item we're going to need. Where is it? Where is it? I know it's around here somewhere. Oh, here it is. The sledgehammer. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you can actually use this or not. Like, I can throw it around like this. Uh, uh, uh. But I don't know if it actually, like, works. Like, equipping F, I... Oh! Right click, huh? All right, does this get us, like, a ton of fatigue? Okay, no, it doesn't. Good. I'm gonna take this sledgehammer because I'm really curious if you can use this to cause damage to anything. Let's go ahead and throw that in the back seat. 
crank this puppy up, and let's get heading over to the store. All right, man, we're underway. Someone asked, well, I get, I get like a million different comments about all this kind of stuff. They're like, why do you sit so close to the steering wheel or whatever have you? Here's why. Because it doesn't matter where I sit, someone's gonna be pissed off. I've had every single comment you could possibly have about the sitting position in this game. You sit too close to the steering wheel. You sit too far to the steering wheel. You sit too much to the right of the steering wheel. You sit too much to the left of the steering wheel. You sit on the steering wheel. You sit beside the steering wheel. You hit <laughs> it. Basically, the point is it doesn't matter where I sit. Everyone has, and that's fine. I mean, the reality is that you, and I mean you, as in each one of you watching this, has your own position that you would like the steering wheel to be in. Um, and and the, the appropriate position that you would like to play the game in. And I think that... You know what I mean? Like, it's always different watching someone else play it because they're never going to play it exactly the same way you would play it. Does that make any sense? So, that's kind of why. If, if my positioning is, is not exactly specific to your own desires, sorry about that. So the other reason that I'm taking this thing for uh, messing with the police a little bit is because the sewage tanker is literally like a total tank. This thing is a tank. Like... Anything that runs into it, it doesn't even care. It can, it can tow anything. Like, I tried towing the, uh, the, the tractor pulling a crate, well not a crate, a flatbed full of wood, and like, it just, it couldn't do it with the van. Like, there was just no way it could do it. So, from then on, I tried this towing the flatbed full of wood and it, it, it towed it like the flatbed wasn't even there like the tractor and the flatbed weren't even there it was awesome it worked perfectly and you move so much faster just a little tip I made a little video about it in one of the episodes but just a little tip if you want to get that firewood done quickly man just tow it with this holy crap it, it, you go so much faster than just utilizing the uh, the uh, whatchamacallit oh, you, oh shit this is the other reason, because when you run into shit, like Gray always does, this thing doesn't care. Look at that. We ran into a tree at what, like 60 kilometers per hour? This thing laughed. It was like, ha ha ha, I don't give a shit. Oh, hold on, let me grab our letter before it goes, yeah. You, you know, you know. You guys know. This thing was like, uh, I don't give a shit about no trees. I'm a, I'm a sewage tanker, baby. Filled with sewage. We still have a lot of sewage in this sewage tanker. The point is, though, is that if the police get all pissed off and come for us, I I'm gonna tell you, they will try and smash into your car. They just fucking <laughs> slam into your car at full speed, trying to kill you. The other cool thing is, if the Thump Thump car tries to take us out, this big beast doesn't give a shit. It will, uh, it won't even flinch. Well, it'll flinch a little bit, I think. I think it might, like, jerk a little bit forward, but... It's, it's not bad at all. Uh, you know what? I think the power band is, like, way further down than this. Let me see if I can get us moving a little bit faster than 60 kilometers per hour. Eh, maybe not. I still gotta get my shifting down with this big old beast. Just because you can miss out on a lot of... Well, maybe it's because I have... I wonder, do I have... Is it because I had the differential lock on? Let me take that off and see if we can move a little bit faster. There we go. That did it. Holy shit. That's what I'm talking about. Take the differential lock off, guys. Holy crap, I think there's a sixth gear on this. Yep, there sure is. 80 kilometers per hour, I think we can get her up to about 100. But before that, there's gonna be some things that we're gonna do. And here it is, baby. We're coming up right now to the police. Hold on. Let me, uh, let me, let me oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, God. Oh, boy. oh, hey, ho, oh, there we go. All right, no big deal. I can, I can, there we have it. Okay, and now, let us pull. Hold on, let me slow down. Oh, God. All right, let me pull right over here. Right about here, is there someone coming up on us? No. Throw on the parking brake. All right, guys. So, it's been, well, let me get let this car go by. It's been a little while since I've had to deal with your bullshit, but I'd like to give you a little present from me to you. whoop -a Oh. No one gives a shit! I just took this guy out, man! Everyone's just like, oh, it's just a just a typical day in Finland when a freaking sledgehammer-wielding maniac is beating shit out of the police. 
I don't condone this, by the way. This is only for the purposes of understanding the game. Please don't beat up the police or really anyone with a sledgehammer. Hey, buddy. Hey, how's it going? Hey, remember that 700 mark ticket you gave me? What would you That's what time it is. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. What's going on here? What's going on here? What is this? What is this? That's it? That's it! I broke it! I broke it up! Everyone just left! They're like, oh my god, that guy's a badass! Let's get the fuck out of here! Well, there you have it! There you have it, folks! If you ever want... <laughs> you gotta be shitting me! If you ever want to get rid of the checkpoint, apparently all you need to do is just wield your sledgehammer and... Hold on. Hold on. I gotta... Okay, that's just a regular car. I gotta check something out here. Hold on. Let me let this car go by. Can I, uh... Oh, oh. Come here. Come here. Come on. Come with me. Come with me. Come with me, good sir. No, you can't do it. I was curious. I actually wanted to know if I could, like, haul this guy. Like, pick him up, throw him in the car with us. Maybe he'd, like, wake up one day. There it is. There's the thump thump car. Ooh, I'm gonna get you one day, you rat bastard. Well, folks, Rakele is no longer the god of thunder. It is us now, with our mighty, our mighty sledgehammer of destruction and power. All fear the mighty sledgehammer. No one dares come close to the Rakele mobile with its great and oh, mother of Jesus! Oh God! We're fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, where's my letter at? Oh, God. Oh, I hope I can find the letter after this. Hold on. Let me go ahead and back my ass out of here. See if we can get back on the road. Oh, I love this thing so much. I got to tell you, if you're a poor driver, just drive this thing and everything will be fine. There we go. See, no big deal. Back on the road like nothing ever happened. Oh, my God. Oh, I need to take this thing everywhere. If it didn't cost so much damn gas, that's the biggest issue. This thing, this thing eats up diesel like you wouldn't believe. In fact, while we're over in town, maybe we'll do a couple of diesel, or not diesel, maybe we'll do a couple of sewage jobs real quick just to get some of our money back. Oh, oh, look at what happened over here, guys. Look at this. Look at this BS right here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The thump thump car. It's, it's run into another car. Hold on, hold on. Oh, 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 okay. Throw the parking brake on. We're gonna fuck everyone up. Hold on. All right, you bastard. Don't you, don't you freaking run from me. Don't you freaking run from me. Yeah, baby. Come here, buddy. I got something for you. I got something for you, dirtbag. Damage? I think we're damaging the car! Come on, jerkwad! I've waited a long time for this freaking retribution! You son of a bitch! What the hell? There's no one inside! There's no one inside! It's all a lie! Oh my god! It's powered by the devil! Don't laugh! Your daughter might be inside- And it's in English! <laughs> that's pretty funny! Oh, that's terrible. But that's also pretty funny. This is awesome, man! We can beat the living- Whoa! Alright, buddy. You wanna pull that kind of crap with me? The hammer of Bacali upon thee! This is what you wanted! This is what you wanted, isn't it? Isn't it, jerkwad? Ugh! Ugh! Yeah! Huh! Wow, we're actually- We are deforming his car. Like, legit. Huh. This is interesting. It, you can't break the car, it looks like. But you can definitely mess the car up. Like, man, maybe we can break the car. Hold on, let me let me keep going with this for a little bit. All right, I've been beating these cars for a while. That's about all we can do. You can do a lot of damage to these cars, but it really doesn't, like, do anything. Like, I don't think it, like, destroys the car or anything, so to speak. Oh, he finally got out. Well, good for him. Huh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, I hear police. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Does this mean... Ow. I was gonna say, does this mean that they want a piece? I guess it does. Oh, Jesus. All right, car kind of skidding off the road a little bit here. That's all right, though. I'm like, all, I'm like seated in this thing all jacked up, too. 
Let's see if we can keep going though. We've got, oh boy. This guy is trying to pass this other vehicle. Whoa! I want to get to the city and see if we can mail our letter. That's if, that's if I can even find our letter. I don't know. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Why are we flying all over the place? Is this because they're on our tail trying to trying to run us off the road? I know that does happen from time to time. Well, maybe not. I guess it's just a matter of the vehicle kind of like starting to lose control after you get up to about 80 kilometers per hour. I definitely noticed the rear of the vehicle starting to slide, man, once you get... Once you get past about 80, things start going a little bit wonky here and there. What is this over here? Man, there is crashed vehicles all over the place. Look at this. Here's another two cars off on the side of the road. Ever since we messed with that police checkpoint, the whole, the whole freaking country of Finland has gone into a giant crisis. Oh my god. We've destroyed the world as we know it. This is terrible. I'm so sorry, Finland. Oh, I think they're... Are they still on us? Hold on, I can hear, I can hear the sirens. I don't know, man. I don't know if they're gonna come this way or what. I still need to find our letter, too. Shit, I don't know where that letter went. I hope we didn't lose it. I mean, if we did, I don't know. I guess I can write another one for the purposes of, uh, of glory and, and parts in there, have you? Let's go ahead and put this thing on park. Crap, man. I don't know. I think we may have lost our letter. Oh, shit. Can I write it again, I wonder? Did it, did it, like, fall through the seat? Oh, man, there's a million places this thing could have gone. Son of a bitch! All right, no problem. I'll probably have to write it again. Oh, well. In the meantime, at least we can get some diesel fuel in this thing because, holy crap, we are low on fuel. And, like I said, after we get the diesel fuel, I'll probably see if we can do just a couple of jobs over here real quick. Maybe we'll buy a little bit more beer or sausage as well. And, uh, I don't know, I guess in my own time, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna have you guys sit here with me while I do this, you poor bastards. I'll probably go and write up another letter just to get those parts done and deliver that off camera. That's right, folks. We're wanted men. Wanted Finnish men. On the run from the law. The sounds of the, of the police sirens always blaring in the distance. I don't know if they're ever gonna go away. Like... So I've been filling up this gas tank for, uh, I think like three minutes now. And the entire time, the sounds of the police sirens have been in the background. Like, this is legit not going away. So I kind of hope that, like, if we save and reload the game and stuff, they'll be gone. I don't know. Are they just going to be there forever? Will the police be forever hunting me down? I'm not certain. Um, but either way. Like I said, it was kind of interesting to see how the, I don't know, wanted system inside the game works. Where apparently you can walk up to the police with a sledgehammer, beat two of them to the ground. And his buddies are like, later, we're out of this bitch. And then like 10 minutes later, they're like, wait a second, I feel that that was a felony crime. <laughs> they decide to give chase. I don't know where they're giving chase to now. Considering they're probably dealing with the 600 crashes that have since occurred on the side of the road. There's people, there's people all over the place with broken down vehicles. There's a maniac out there with a fucking sledgehammer bashing doors and hoods and stuff in. There's some dude who's got the daughters of various people in the backseat of his car. It's freaking Bedlam out here. It's insane. And are we the real criminals here? Think about this for a second. We're going to take this diesel pump. We're going to put this right, hold on. We're going to put this right back where we found it. We're going to throw our freaking lid on here. And then... Like a good Samaritan, we're gonna walk inside, we're gonna pay for our bill, and not be in the in the area where the police run by. We're gonna pay a thousand freaking marks for our freaking gas. Hold on. Oh, there it is right there. Did you guys see it? It just went by. Where are they? I think they're just going in a giant circle. Um, oh, a bunch of people wanted me to do the, uh, the little slot machine here. I don't know, man. I've never won anything on this damn thing. Um, so you can put some coins in right here. Like that. I think each one is like one mark. And then down, where is it? Down, is it here? Whoa. All right, that started it up. One of these, of course, I don't read finish. But one of these items here allows you to bet. Yeah, there we go. You can bet five, I think. And then, I don't know what that does. But, uh, alright, so let's click on this here. We'll, we'll play a couple of times real quick. 
Oh, I think you collect with this? Oh! Yeah, we made a couple of marks. How do you like that? Um, alright. Oh, oh, let me... Let's go ahead and uh, play one more time. We got four more marks here. There we go. We got guy number one, a coin, and nothing. Jack shit. Oh! I think we just hit, like, some sort of weird jackpot. Who is this guy? Someone said they were, like, a Finnish uh, politician or something. Let's go ahead and grab it. Eh, we went a couple of bucks. I don't know. Honestly, it didn't really seem like... It didn't really seem that good. Uh, hold on. Let me see if I can... Let me see if we can win one more time real quick. See if we can get the rest of our money done here. Uh... Oh, we won again. Huh. Alright, I guess it's... I guess it's paying for, like, a beer, maybe? I don't know. I think we came out, what did we come out, like, with 20 marks on top? Something like that? Eh, whatever. Let's go ahead and get out of here. Thirst was getting pretty high, so I went, I had, I went ahead and I had to go grab a couple of, a case of beer here. We'll see if we can get this down a little bit. Oh, I wonder if you can knock over some of the items. Hold on, let's try. Whoop. Uh, no. Well, maybe I missed, too. Let's go ahead and grab this. I ended up getting the truck stuck, so I'm gonna have to push it a little bit. I'm gonna try the, uh, the ultra, the ultra, like, beer push. See if that works. Someone had said that you could push things with the beer and it reacts in like crazy, odd, and, and inhumane ways. That would be fantastic because uh, we're kind of in a pickle here. You can see. Uh, I kind of got stuck down in this little bit of a ditch. Uh, I don't think it's working. I'm trying. I'm trying the beer push. The only thing that's happening is I managed to like fly into the vehicle. Now we had a ca Oh shit. What the hell's going on here? Oh god. Oh, the car is like swaying for some reason. Hold on. Let's see if I can pull myself out of this. Oh, there we go. It worked. Oh, the, oh, both the doors are open though. Holy shit. Um, hold on. Let me, uh, let me get over here real fast. There we go. Thought I'd stop over here real quick. Do a quick sewage job. Get us a little bit of money. And what is all this? What are these weeds? This guy's growing out in his lawn. There's some sort of poppies or something like that. Real weird. Anyway, let's go ahead and grab our hose. And uh, make that cash because uh, I don't know. We'll probably have to pay off the police at some point. Not only that, but we're down to 1,500 marks right now after I had to buy yet another case of beer and fill this thing up with gas. So making a little bit of cash isn't such a bad thing. Let's go ahead and shove our shove our tube into the hole here. This is the one time where you can put a uh, a round peg in a square hole, right, guys? Wah! Okay, that was a bad joke. Satana, guide my pump. Guide my hose. So that money can be made. There we go. That should work out pretty good. Uh, everything's getting sucked up. And I think that there's one more building over here that we can do as well to get like 1,200 marks. I think you get about 1,200 marks per, uh, per house that you suck up. There's one over here. And there's one more, I think, around the corner. I've looked everywhere, man. I've even used the uh, finished headbutt, trying to see if I could find that letter. Go right through the engine block here. And, uh, I don't know. I think it went flying out, flying out the vehicle when we, uh, when we ran into that. Into oh, there we go. I was going to say, when we ran into the, um, the foliage there, along with our beer case. Man, that sucks ass. All right, and here's the other building that you can suck sewage from. Pretty damn close to the first one. Really just around the bend slightly. Let's go ahead and throw this thing in neutral and make a little bit more money. All right, there we go. Hose is in the hole. Should just be a couple more minutes before we're treated to a nice another sum of money. To give you some idea of where we are right now, there's the church right over there. And that's right there. That's the other house that we were just at pumping the, uh, pumping the sewage. What you got to do is as you come in to the, to the city from the main roadway, make a right. And this secondary sewage house is just off the road, if you make that right. All right, another 1,200 bucks right there. Pretty damn good. Let's go ahead and turn the hydraulics off, pull the hose up. Our tanker is, like, full of shit right now, which is both good and bad. I'm saving it, though. I'm saving it for a very special occasion. Oh, boy, we got more thirst going on here, too. Let me go grab another beer. I feel like... I feel like doing the sewage jobs gets you like, oh Jesus, our beer has, has gotten way over here. I feel like doing the sewage jobs gets you thirsty very, very quickly in this game. Kind of strange. Let's go throw that over there, pull this thing out, and get on with our lives. What sort of crazy Hogwarts sorcery is this bullshit right here? 
Oh, mother of Jesus! I'm afraid. What happened? Whoa! Oh, no! Oh, no. No. Our fucking coupler. Oh, shit. Um. Oh, God. Can I put this thing back on? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, uh, uh. Okay, I can fix this. Oh, no, 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 no. No, don't you fall down the hole. No. No. Oh, God, if we lose our hose, then. No. Well. Fuck. We just lost the coupler. Um. I'll figure that out. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Christ almighty. Oh, that better, that better not mean that we could never make money doing sewage again. I'm gonna have to, I don't know, man. I don't know if I'm gonna have to climb down there and get it or what. Oh, well. I think that, uh, I think that, that that's enough tomfoolery for right now. Son of a bitch. But still, another successful two sewage pumping jobs. We've got the police going completely insane after us here. I don't know what I'm going to do with them right now. But, uh, guys, hope you enjoyed this episode of My Summer Car. Everything was everything went insane in this particular one, man. We tried to... Jesus. We tried to break the law, the boundaries of physics in all kinds of different ways. We also pissed off the police, knocked two people out, beat the shit out of a bunch of cars, gave Techno Viking his just desserts, finally. And, uh, I guess I found that there's a limit to exactly how far that fucking hose could stretch. Oh, God. Um, but damn it! I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out one way or the other. I always do. Alright, folks. Until the next time, stay foxy and much love.